hey what is up internet welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to check out how you can get the blood pressure monitoring functionality on your galaxy watch active 2 so samsung have been pushing back the release of this feature ever since they first announced it at the launch of the galaxy watch active 2 but recently the company did announce that the feature is all set to release in some time in quarter 3 2020 and they also released this feature in south korea after they got the necessary approvals from the health authorities there but as always the folks at xta have managed to get the blood pressure monitoring working on any galaxy watch active 2 irrespective of where do you live so without any further ado let's get started so a quick disclaimer you will need a cuff based blood pressure monitor with you for calibration so make sure you have one before you can start on with this tutorial so the number one step you have to do is you have to install a bunch of files i'll leave the link to all the files in the description box below after you're done with that extract all the zip files and keep all the files in a common folder for easy navigation also you need to download and install the tizen studio with id software from the official website so i'll leave the link to that as well in the description box below next enable debugging and developer mode on your galaxy watch active 2. now to enable debugging go to settings and scroll down to about watch and enable debugging from there now to enable the developer mode just go back to the previous menu go to software and tap the software version five times before you can get the message saying developer mode is now on now next we need to connect our galaxy watch active 2 with the pc because we will sideload the blood pressure monitoring app onto our galaxy watch active 2. so to do that open up the tizen studio with id software we downloaded in the first step and launch a new project now you'll see this no target on the top now from the drop down menu choose launch remote device manager and hit scan now scanning didn't work for me but you can also add your galaxy watch active 2 manually now to do that go to this plus sign and enter any name and then you have to enter the ip address of your wi-fi connection now make sure that your galaxy watch active 2 and your pc are connected to the same wi-fi and to get the ip address on your watch active 2 just go to settings go to connections go to your wi-fi settings choose your wi-fi network and then there you will get the ip address now just enter this ip address and click on add and you'll get this small pop-up on your galaxy watch active 2 so just allow it next we need to sideload the blood pressure monitoring app on our galaxy watch active 2 so locate the bp.tpk file in the absolutely own risk folder and move it to stb660 stb data into tools folder now in the same folder you'll find this file called anixon which is basically a cmd file open that and you need to enter the command stb install bp.tpk you can also browse the actual file name if it is for different for you by just hitting tab again and again and then hit enter now it will take a while but when the process is completed you will see the samsung health monitor app on your galaxy watch active 2 now next you need to install the samsung health monitor app client on your android device so move the .apk file to health monitor app on your phone and follow the instructions to calibrate your watch active 2 readings with the traditional cuff based blood pressure monitor now repeat this three times and make sure you have the galaxy watch active 2 on your non-dominant hand and the cuff based blood pressure monitor on your dominant hand now because there is no dedicated hardware for blood pressure only the galaxy watch active 2 uses your heart rate and pulse rate readings to measure your blood pressure now during my testing i found the app to work quite accurately most of the time however don't change the medication or take any strict action solely based on the readings you get on your galaxy watch active 2 and samsung reminds you of this at each step also you are supposed to measure the blood pressure on the person you first calibrated the readings with there is a small pdf with all the instructions and warnings as well so i'll leave the link to that document as well in the description box below also there is a discussion thread on xda with latest updates and findings on this feature i'll leave a link to that as well in the description box below so yes guys this was a quick video on how to get the blood pressure functionality working on your galaxy watch active 2 now till now i can confirm that this is only working on the galaxy watch active 2 and not on the original watch active and other samsung watches as well so make sure you hit that like button if you like this video or found this video helpful 
and share it with your friends who also happen to have the Galaxy Watch Active 2. And now before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and especially hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload such videos in future as well. And also do follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well because we have been very active on it of late. And yes, that was it from my side. Keep asking and I'll see you in the next one.